Hello and welcome to this new lesson of the Through Crash Course. You want to write a content brief under 10 minutes? I will show you my approach and how I leverage Google SERP and Through to create content brief very fast. So first, uh, well, I will start with a search on Google. My topic today is what is a content brief? I want to write an article about this. So I search into Google and then I can do a quick SERP analysis. I can see uh, people also ask box, give me information that people are looking for information. Then what is a content brief? What is the ultimate guide? A lot of blog posts, I guess, how to write, what is a content brief, how, how, what, what. So here, of course, is an informational intent. So people are looking for information. When they type that, they want to know what is a content brief, what, maybe they want to how to, they want to know how to write a content brief. They're also looking for example, free template, example, uh, template here and we can see in the related search content brief sample so we have already got a, a lot of information uh, just by looking at that in one minute uh, and I can then start my content brief now uh, so it's already pre-filled so here content brief for what is a content brief general note here I will give some directive to the writer the goal as a brand we would like to position us or a brand for the target keyword content brief the SERP is mixed for this research and content article about what is a content brief, how to, an example. Our approach will be to start with an article focusing on the what. That should explain the main elements to include. The article will include the CTA and we might create other article later on focusing on the how uh, and explaining maybe a workflow between SERP analysis and copywriting. So you can see already here, I give him some information about the current article and then already telling him we will do another article also more focused on the how. Overall, the goal is that we position our brand for the content brief topic, right? And by creating several articles. But today's topic is what's the content brief? Target keyword is content brief. Audience is SEO and copywriter. Region is US and English. And then again, some information, informational intent, of course. Uh, audience is looking to understand what's the content brief, how to write or to create one, looking for template and example. And the next action for the audience will be to find maybe more examples of templates or to set up a process. So we already know maybe where we want to guide our readers when they land on our article. The type of content is uh, an article, a simple blog post. Now we have to go more into detail. So I will uh, first share with the writer food for thoughts. So basically some articles for him to read. For that, I will do a SERP analysis with through. I already prepared one. So here, what's the content brief? Google.com, US, EN, desktop, 10 results. All right. So I can look at the first page and here I can just share with uh, the with, uh, writer maybe the first three content because if they are in the top three, maybe it's worth reading them. So I will just quickly copy paste that and share that with him. So he should read these three articles of course, uh, important. Then I don't have yet on my blog content about what is a content brief, but or about content brief, otherwise I can give you already some example of, of what we have done. What is interesting with through as well, there is a tab sources and links here. You can see all the uh, reference uh, or the most cited sources on the pages. So basically here you can see the top five cited sources. And there is one that could be interesting It's cited it's used two times or linked two times. So in the top 10, there is two articles that are linking to this content. Um, and here, yes, maybe it's something also worth reading for the, for the writer. And maybe even we can include also this link in our article. So then, of course, add more stuff here if you want. SERP info for the top 10. So here, also we through, you have a lot of information directly here, SERP insights. So for you can just simply make a screenshot of that and put that in your content brief. So I will just drag that here. So we have the SERP insights for the top 10. Then we can put already this average uh, uh, word count. So for the top 10, we know is uh, average is 2,004. 400. Okay, then the top three is not directly displaying through, but very soon more granular granular metrics will come. 
So that you can go here in the result tab. In the table view, you can see the top three here, words. You can see that they're below the average, below 2,400, even below 2,000 more or less. So the average of the top three is maybe uh, 1,009. So let's say 1,009 is the average. So here also is quite interesting. If you want to be in the top three, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be a huge guide here. You can see that the long form are more uh, displayed at the, at the end of the, the first page, and the top three are, let's say, short. <laughs> it's not really short, but it's below 2,000. Then average images, also here, 12. So you can also put that. Uh, it's pretty interesting to, sh to display enough images to illustrate uh, this blog. Last update, also interesting information. Last update, you can find that here. It's two months ago, the last update, so not so fresh from my perspective, meaning maybe if you come with something fresh, we might rank. And the oldest is two years, so not also too old. There is SERP with articles that are 10 years old, so two years old. Okay, again, some information for us to do our analysis and give that to the writer. Competitor analysis. Also here, interesting, we through, we can directly have a look at the table view and we can see here the top 10 and you can rank, uh, filter, sorry, by a word, image, etc. Uh, what you can simply do is just, again, make a screenshot here of, of that. Sorry, it's not so super screenshot, but well, you get the idea. You take a screenshot and you put that in your brief and voila, you have an overview of the SERP with uh, the size and the word count for for every uh, pages. You can put also the top ranking, top 10 title and top 10 H1 if you like. So here uh, you cannot really grab that directly from the interface, but you can download the Excel file with through and then you will get again a lot of data here with the Excel file, uh, a lot of data uh, from all the pages. And if you go into the SERP overview tab, you can directly just copy the top 10 URL. So I can put that here brief top 10 I don't know why. okay like this top 10 title so the, the title on the surf again so I go in the Excel here you have the title here you have to see the surf title and the title it's not the same so you can decide what you want you know that sometimes Google rewrites stuff so I can just take the surf title so it will be the, the, the one uh, display in the Google search. So here you know what Google wants to display. And um, finally, also the H1 could be interesting. So um, you can go here and look at all the data from Google and pick the H1. Okay. So here I can also give the H1, of course. Sorry. So this is a good indication for us to start also preparing our title. Then article outline. So this is really an important uh, block of your content brief. I think it should be in every content brief. Uh, here also you can have a look at through and go to the outline tab and automatically through is providing an idea for your outline. So feel free to copy that. I copy that. I put that already here in the structure H1, H3. So what's the content brief? How beneficial are content brief? Why are content brief important? How to write a content brief? What to avoid? What to include? Find the sort. So it's not so bad. Maybe I will remove this. What is the content brief? I will start like this. By the way, what's the content brief will be also the, might be the H1. What is a content brief? Uh, why a content brief important? Yeah, how to write a content brief, what to avoid, or how to write, uh, yes, what to include. I would like to put what to include second and remove what to write because of the how I would do another article, as I said. So, already have a good structure here, and then what you can do is you can fine tune that. You can look at all the, um, you click on the bird's eye view, and here you can see all the structure of every article, and here you can just fine tune your headlines. Oh, sorry, your, your outline, and uh, check what the others are doing. So, but yeah, I'm fine for that for the moment. Title, we said 
to be what is a content brief. But here I will do something uh, like in bracket template included because we will include, temp include a template in our article. So this will be the title that you want to display on Google. So H1 will be what is a content brief. Uh, description, yes. Uh, also with true, you can analyze description here. If you go to the description tab, you can also look what Google is displaying and what uh, people are displaying in their meta. So always search information and the meta information. So yes, uh, just come up with something. The slug, so it's more for the URL, what is a content brief. And then suggested word count. Um, here I would suggest something like 2,000, 1,900. Okay. So already we have a good structure here, but maybe we can give more information to the writer here. Uh, so, for instance, what is a content brief? I want like a generic, generic, uh, generic uh, definition. Okay. Why? Explain the benefits of of a brief, what to include. So here we might list uh, main elements to include. So for instance, uh, outline, uh, competitor analysis, etc. You know, you know what I mean? What to avoid. Here we have to find what to avoid, making, making it too long. Well, don't discuss uh, up front with your team course, because a content brief is something that you have to be discuss with your writer, with your team. So things to avoid, like good practice, basically. And final thoughts, it will be a summary. Uh, all right. We will fine tune the content brief over, uh, later on. Then also most frequent question. Also here, something interesting uh, for us to, to finalize this brief. So if you're going through, there is a question questions tab, here you can see the people also ask, so you can directly copy that. This is directly coming from the SERP. So, so nothing really complicated here. And you can see some questions. And then what is really interesting is that also through is extracting all the questions found in headlines and in the, uh, in the headings within the article, so uh, on page da that data. So you can see also the number of times what's content brief appears 12 times in headings, so something really important to mention. So we can copy that. And then, yes, list some other question, and we can have a look. What's the content brief? How beneficial they are? What to include? How to write? Why are important? This people want more. People want support of content harmony. So this is a kind of question. Either we can put that in our outline directly, or we can just let them hear uh, to give some indication to the writer what he should try to answer. He doesn't have to really put the question and, and the, uh, like this in the article, but he should at least answer these kind of questions. Maybe we can remove some of them, uh, like this one, we don't want to focus on, on the agency maybe, how to create step-by-step step we don't want, how to write, refocus on the what and the why. Voila. So here you have already good question, and again, as I said, we could also have directly in our outline uh, some questions that we have already. And then FAQ, we saw also here something interesting is that there is zero FAQ on the SERP and zero FAQ on page. We know also that sometimes Google doesn't display all the time the on-page FAQ. Uh, so here, maybe an opportunity for us to come with FAQ. So here you can have a question. Maybe the first question will be, uh, what is a content brief? And then here answer, put the first uh, paragraph the first uh, 10, 100 words, paragraph of the first uh, section of your article, because the first section, as you know now, will be what is a content brief, a generic definition. And then maybe uh, what should be included, let's say what should be included, what should be included in a brief. And then here we have like a list of elements to include. So this could be in our FAQ schema, quite good. So two is enough, I think. We can always come with more later on. Then frequent topic as well, so or related keywords if you want. Um, also with through, you can go here on the topics tab and um, here first you can see the top topics. 
So these are all uh, the top. These topics are covered by the, all the articles in the third, more or less, or in the in the first page. So content brief, content marketing, SEO content, uh, quality content, creator content, blog posts. So all these things, this topic uh, should be included. So you can pick some of them. Say, of, of course, content brief should be included. Then you should have uh, maybe content marketing. Yes, let's put that. So this kind of topic that should be included in your content. So the writer should speak about that. But also you can give him some example. So if you click here, you will see what's the content brief, how uh, all the articles are using that, so in the context. So here you can grab some key sentence if you want and give him some examples. So he know how to write about content brief because content brief might have different, uh, based on the context, you can speak about that differently, right? And you can just grab other examples. I will just grab them randomly. Oh, this one is interesting, okay. And you do that for more topics. So just to go on with the topics tab, also here, you can see topics that are only found in the top three. So here, what? So in the blog post of Market News, that's the only one speaking about, for instance, AI-generated content. So only uh, Market News speak about that. So why not also adding that to your uh, to your uh, content? Also here in Content Harmony article, you can see that, uh, uh, of course, it's the only one speaking about Content Harmony, obviously, but there is also things here like um, uh, search intent. And at the end, you also have a table displaying all the topics. You can also filter by a uh, number of words, and you can then, again, uh, use this topic and put that in your content. You can also have a view where you can see side by side all the pages on the SERP and uh, how many times they use the content. And again, you can, oh, sorry, how many times they use the topic, and you can again see that in the pages. So I will build here a list of frequent topics or related keywords, call it as you want, and basically uh, give some information about to the writer what he should put in the content, uh, in this brief, sorry, in the article. And if you want, you can even go further. You can go into outline here. And for each section of the outline, you can add, uh, directly say, use this topic, mention that, etc. OK, so now finally source to mention. So um, here, also in through, you can get all the sources uh, that are uh, the most cited by the by, um, pages on the first page of Google. So here, you can just quickly have a look. Uh, more than 10 mentions, there is none. So you can maybe just grab here from some of them. So as I said, maybe uh, this one could be interesting to mention or to link in our article and just find maybe other sources to mention. Then internal linking. Here, uh, I won't detail that, but basically if you have already an article or some article speaking about that, you can uh, put here the URL of your article in your blog, in your website, and again, that is anchor text. So the writer knows also directly how to internal link uh, your uh, the content. And finally, a CTA, a click to action. So here we would like to have a click to action in our article. So download free content brief template. It should be the label. The anchor text will be linked to the template. And the position, we, we might put that after the second section. So people start to read. And then after that, they have a kind of click to action, download the template. They can download 